Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here, CCXRC, and today on the bench we have the new Pro 4 Charger from Venom Power, and this thing is pretty cool. I've already had it out and testing it. Uh, this is the newest charger from them. This one, they've made it, just they've simplified it and made it easier to use to get you charging your LiPo batteries, nickel metal hydride, NICAD, Life, uh, high voltage lithium ones and lead acid batteries as well. So you can do two to four S LiPo in here, six to eight cell nickel metal hydride batteries or NICAD and uh, six volt to 12 volt lead acid PB batteries. So uh, yeah, let's open this up, take it out of the package and we'll show you guys how it works. <laughs> Alrighty, here you go. Here is the packaging. I'll show you on the back here a little bit about it as well as far as the specifications on it. Um, integrated XT60 and balance connection. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what you get. Have the nice manual here on top. Little pack of stickers. The charger. Power cable and an adapter. Uh, to EC3 um, ends that you get with a lot of the Horizon Hobby stuff. Uh, I've got a couple of different battery options here and uh, I actually have a four cell as well to show you that but I do have to run an adapter down to uh, an XT60 here that I've made for myself just using some ends that I had and so yeah let's uh, get this plugged in and we'll show you all about it. She's alive. All right, so here's the charger. We're gonna go ahead and take a quick look at it. You can see the buttons on the top here, stop, um, decrease, increase, start, but also they have a secondary option, battery type, status, uh, left and right, and then enter. So these are uh, dual use buttons. Here it shows six amps, 60 watt. And on the front is where you have your output to your battery, which is the XT60 connector and uh, your balance lead port here does 2s to 4s integrated right into the unit i don't need a little board and this is for temperature so if you have uh, an accessory to uh, plug in here to measure the temperature of your battery that is available as well um, you do have a fan on these as well to keep it cool and then your power is on the back side here um, we'll go ahead and show you some of the features within this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and look at the different types of batteries that this works with and the menu system that is included inside the charger. So you've got your lithium, your nickel metal hydride and NICAD, and then your lead acid. Then you have user settings and a lithium battery meter. So that is all that you have as far as the main menu system. They've uh, shrunk that down because what they've done is now inside of lithium, you have what you see before, except that when you first hit the enter button, it now lets you select LiPo, high voltage, uh, life batteries, lithium ion batteries. And so those are all within the sub menu here. And then you also get the options to charge and storage. Those are the only two options they now give you in here to make this easier. So it's always gonna do a balance charge for lithium batteries. You always have to plug in your balance lead uh, because this is going to balance charge. And just making it simpler for people to get in there and uh, make sure that they're charging their batteries right and taking care of them. So we'll step back out inside of the uh, NIM and NICAD. We'll take a look in here, same idea. You can choose between the two and then you get discharge cycle and charge so you have three options within these settings and then the last one we'll go over to is the uh, lead acid and in here you have the option to charge and that's it so I'm gonna jump back out and we're gonna plug in a battery and show you a little bit about how this works I do have here a 3s battery a new crawl 2s battery and i do have a 4s battery right here that will plug in as well and just kind of show you using adapters and then i do have a nickel metal hydride here that i have to charge and this nim is for uh, my 5b baja um, 
gas powered truck to do the electronics. So we'll just kind of show you the different features of these and what it's able to do. I don't actually know what the, uh, the charge is on these currently. It should hopefully be in storage mode. So I'm gonna plug in my balance lead and I'm gonna also plug in my XT60 into the unit. I'm gonna go over, first of all, I just wanna check it out. We'll show you the battery meter first and we'll look in here. So 3.79, 3.8, so this is in storage mode. So I was good, I was a good boy and I did put my battery into storage mode before I put it away um, this last time. Uh, so what I do wanna do is I wanna charge this battery up. So I'm gonna go into lithium battery mode. I'm gonna hit enter. Now the way that these work is you wanna use uh, one thousandth. So we're gonna charge at a 1C rating, and what does that mean? There's a couple things we do have to change on here, and we can find all of that out just by looking on our battery here. So the first thing that we need to know is, one, it's a LiPo, yes. We're gonna charge it, yes. Then we need to know how many amps to charge it at. So these say that they're recommended to charge at a 1C rating. And what that means is that you wanna divide your, um, your milliamp hour here, which is listed as your MA, your 4,600 milliamp hour by 1,000. And so you're basically gonna move the decimal over three spots. So it would be 4.6 amps is what we wanna charge at. And so now that we're in here and this is flashing, we can use the increase decrease to change that. And so we're gonna move this down to 4.6 amps but we need to change this. This is right now currently at 4S because I was charging a 4S earlier when I was testing this. So we need to move it down to 7.4 volts, which is 2S, which it says right here on the battery, 7.4 volt to cell. So basically we're looking at this number and this number here. On this battery, we'd be doing it at five amps because it's 5,000 divided by 1,000 is five and we'd be doing it at 14.8 volts or 4 cell, 4S. So those are the settings that we have for this one. And then to charge it, we hit start again and hold it. It's gonna do a battery check. It's gonna confirm that we have our balance lead in and everything's good. And then confirm, we have to hit enter. So we hit start again and it will start humming and charging. Now what you can do is as it's charging, one of the things I like to do as it's going is I like to check the cell count. And so it shows the four cells, cell one, cell two, cell three, and cell four. Now this is only two cells, so uh, it's only showing cell one and cell two, but it's showing you the voltage uh, per cell right now. And so we've got 3.8 and 3.8, and we wanna get those to 4.20 in each of them, and that's when it's gonna be charged. It will beep at us and let us know. Many of you know the sound of a lipo finishing uh, by the tone of the charger. And so we'll, we'll hear that when this is all done charging and we'll be good to go. For now, we're gonna stop this. We're gonna unplug the battery and we're gonna go over to our nickel metal hydride battery. So we've got our nickel metal hydride battery here in the package. You'll notice though that I have a Tamiya end on here. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of an adapting over. Now you can get uh, adapters from Venom. Um, I actually have one of these multi adapters that allow me to go in or out of pretty much any type of battery and into any plug type. And so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and plug in my XT60 into the battery charger like so. And then I'll use on the other end of this multi-unit, the, uh, the one that corresponds with my battery pack, like so. Now in the manual, you do have uh, a guide for how to charge these and the current, as far as the amps that you wanna use, it's cycling them, all of that. But you can see here, based on the capacity, how many amps you wanna charge at, so you don't overheat these batteries. And so 4,200 mAh to 5,000 mAh, it says is a three amp charge. So we're gonna first of all go on our battery charger, gonna click the battery type over to NIMH, gonna hit okay. Now you can use a lower amperage if you want, you just don't wanna go above that. And so we wanna charge it and the current that we're gonna do it at is three amps. 
So we'll hit enter again. All right, so three amps. We're going to hold down the uh, enter button to start. And it's going to check it and it's going to go ahead and automatically start charging. This one you don't have to hit another button to say OK. And then we'll just sit this down and let it do its thing. All right, before I do top this battery off, I want to show you one more thing, which is the user settings inside of this charger. It has a temp cutoff. And so that's if you've got that little temperature probe that you plug in there and uh, attach to your battery. It will shut off if your temperature goes above 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, Cool down time for charge discharge, and this would be like cycling uh, nickel metal hydride batteries. And there's instructions on that. They say they don't recommend going below the 15 minutes. The safety timer, 120 minutes. In case you do happen to plug in a battery, and even if you're with it and you just lose track of time and it just keeps charging, uh, it will shut off after two hours if this is turned on, which is a good feature because you usually if it's going that long, you've got an issue. Um, with the battery and it's just to uh, prevent it from overcharging and starting a fire or things like that. Uh, next thing is capacity cutoff. This is one thing you might want to change if you have large batteries for an X-Max that are maybe 10,000 milliamp hour instead of 5,000. These are set at what's optimal for a, a 5,000 milliamp hour battery um, and that's 5,500 mAh. That's the capacity cutoff. It will not let it put more than that into the battery. Um, but if you do need to use more, either you have to charge it twice, it'll end at that, and then you can continue to top it off after, or um, you have to change this setting, which you just hit enter. You can either turn it off, or you can adjust what you want it to, the end point to be. Now, the thing to notice about this, or note about this, is that normally we say uh, that you want to charge at a 1C rating. And that's that you don't want to charge above that rating for most lithium batteries. But if you do have a really large battery, we'll go into the lithium battery mode. It's going to top out at 6 amps. This does not go above 6 amp charge rate. So if you have a 10,000 mAh battery, you can't really charge it at 10 amps. So it's just going to take a little bit longer to charge that one uh, and fill it up. So you could charge it at six amps if you wanted. So I'm gonna leave this one at five amps and go ahead and top it off. And it is a four cell. So I'm gonna make that adjustment, holding the start again, hit enter. And we're gonna set it down here and allow it to do its thing. All right guys, so that is the Venom Pro 4 charger. A quick look at it. Uh, when this is done charging, it will go ahead and it'll beep at me and let me know that it's done. And uh, will all right guys so that's a quick look at the venom pro 4 charger i hope that this video was helpful for you if you're getting new to lipos and you want to know how to charge them or you just bought this charger and want to know how to use it um, but i've been using venom chargers for a long time and i always just use the charge mode plug in my balance leads every time and it does a good job with the batteries uh, one of the things that i didn't actually point out is that you can also when you're done if you do charge your batteries and you decide that you're not going to go out, what you should do is go in here and you should set it to storage mode. And you can go ahead and you can discharge your battery. It's a 3S, 4S battery, and it'll take it down to 3.8 volts and put it into storage mode. But that's not what I want to do. I want to charge this. So we're going to go ahead and go back to charge and top it off. So again, hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I love the size of these. They've just made it really easy, especially if you're running XT60s or one style plug, get an adapter and you're good to go. It all plugs in in this nice little compact way to do your charging. Um, but again, let me know in the comments below what you think guys. Hope you have fun RC and keep those batteries powered and in your cars running and have a great time doing it. So have fun RC and guys.